The Glenlivet Caribbean Reserve. $42, 40% ABV, NAS. Is Glenlivet gonna ask us to take this review down? What's going on, hey, guys? Hey, guys, it is Scotch for Dummies. Four guys on the Scotch journey to help you with your next Scotch purchase. Probably one of these. We're going to the Caribbean. No, go ahead. <laughs> this Hello. is the Glenlivet. The, 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 and you yeah. have to say it that way, right? Caribbean Reserve. The. While Glen we are not allowed to travel, we can take our taste buds on a journey. There you go. Right. Correct. Right. Through the Valley of the Glenlivet. Capital T. <laughs> orange box? Orange box. What's orange mean? Uh, I don't know. I'm assuming, rum. from what I understand, they, they're color coding now, but I guess the orange means rum? Yeah, because if you, you look know. at the, the, the Glenlivet, or no, it's like Glenfiddich 21. Now you're getting confused. Now you're confusing. No, me. I'm confusing. There's Atlas. But I know that they're, I've heard that's their new thing, and the new marketing thing 18, is. 1824. She's old, guys. Okay. The red makes me thirsty. Glenlivet's been around oh, a thirsty. long time. Long time. Um, actually, it was so popular back in the day, before it was even legal to, to distill whiskey, that everybody around started distilling whiskey and calling their Steal stuff. Steal their name. Glen too. So the uh, <laughs> proprietor got peed off and... Took him to court. Government said, you're right. You are the Glen Livet. So that's why they still carry that moniker. Um, I like that Andrew's pouring like a three yeah, ounce pour on this. Yeah, so what, what do we know about this? Uh, this well, is a 40% totally ABV. Um, Non-age statement from the Glenlivet. Uh, it's rum barrel selection. In other words, the whiskey is matured in barrels that previously held Caribbean rum. Well, it's finished. And, and rum finished. is finished. Yeah, not, rum is made from what? Like uh, sugar cane, sugar cane, sugar cane or, or, or molasses. Or molasses. Yes. Yep. Uh, so it's got so a little sugar, sweet, rum. sweet, tropical, and fruity sure, notes, maybe. Um, you might get banana in this one. Might. I'm just gonna really throw that cool out there. thing on the back of the box really cool. that one of you guys pointed out. Was it you that pointed this out, Drew? They've got a, a flavor wheel sort of, uh, uh, and I think this is really neat that they do that. It tells you kind of what to expect out of this, um, as as far as fruity, floral, vanilla, toffee, spice, and raisins. Um, that's pretty cool to do. Which is kind of, I mean, it's like a Glen Livet flavor wheel. Like, right. You know, it, it's yeah. not going through all of the necessarily flavors you might get out of a whole whiskey. Yeah. But the predominant flavors of Glen Livet are. Yeah, there's no peated on there. There's no, no leather <laughs> on there. It's just there. The every the video. Not, come on. Every, every price point. Forty. I think it's forty-eight. Well, yeah, forty-two dollars. <throat> okay. okay, so which is a pretty good price. I mean, it's an NAS, but. I mean, it, it's also a name brand. V, Glen Levitt. Which, it is part of their core range. I don't know what that really oh. means to you because Glen if you go to their website, wow. um, they've got a bazillion bottles out. <laughs> so would you say, I mean, from a from a rum cast comparison, would you say Balvenie 14 would be the, the next? And it's hard to say that's a 14-year-old, too, versus a non-age statement. True. But, and price-wise, it's a big difference, too. Honestly, there's not a ton of rum-finished whiskeys out there. So this is a cheaper version of a right? rum finished. Why not? I mean, it's just like <laughs> it smells like rum. Hey man, I'm telling you, it smells <laughs> like we went to the beach. It's it's got a big nose. Comes with vitamin D, dude, straight from the sun. No, well, I'm, I'm not. I'm not that. sure it smells good to me though. I mean, I'm not. I didn't say it, it smelled good off. like scotch, but it, it's I, definitely got a bit of smell. Honestly, I I like it. I get coconuts and pineapple and a little sea breeze on there. Like, <laughs> sea breeze. I mean, umbrella. You, it, it does smell like you should put a little uh, a little one of those parasol things in your glass. I don't know if you can drink out of a Glen Carn with one of those, but there's a hint of banana too, sugary on the mm -hmm. nose. Forty percent ABV, is that correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wait, drinks hotter than that. I don't think so. Wow, is it sweet? Mm-hmm. It's got all those tropical <laughs> tropical flavors. Andrew hates this. He yeah. hates it. This Look is at his face. Yeah. This, this is going to get one fiber. <laughs> He can't help himself. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Yeah, that's why I looked at the camera and I did that. I'm like, he's, somebody's he's, gonna pick that up. He is uh -huh. trying really hard. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna step back. This is not my wheelhouse. I bet it goes good with <laughs> a which I, say, which I say 90% <laughs> of the time because most Scott, we don't we never do peated whiskeys anymore. But so I'm gonna I'm gonna step back and I'm gonna analyze this. Trying I'm gonna All right, give, you give me some time. Go on. Analytical. Go on, let's I need some analytical tools. Analytical yeah. tools. It's definitely forty. <laughs> and no doubt in my mind it's forty ABV. You know who loves it. analytical tools? Dr. Scott. Dr. Scott, yeah, so we know that. Okay, what, coin, so, what coin do we have, guys? Mm. Oh, I got a zebra hunter coin. 
It's number what? 24. Oh, I, I have the Vander. best coin that we got. Number 24. I think Dr. Scotch is the most popular. The Maestro. Though. This is actually my birth year. 24? Mine says I'll jump that. on that grenade. You're born in 1924? Shh, don't tell everybody. Wow. <laughs> no, coin number 24. Um, let's talk about this whiskey, though. So, yes, the first nose is definitely eye-opening. You're like, Whoa, what's going on there? I gotta tell you, it changes pretty quick. In my mind, really? my mind. I, I, the nose is I, not the same. So I I've actually, a, I've had a couple sips now. I, it it does have a little less of the fruit and tropical now that I've had a couple of sips, but it's still present on the palate. Um, I still get, you know, like a little bit of pineapple and papaya, and it's got a lot of like sweet sugar notes to it. Um, See, I'm getting more pear. I think, but it's definitely a younger whiskey. I, I can tell yes. that it's. It's got the That's flavors, but everything is a little superficial. Oh yeah, yeah. You I'm know, it's, it's like Splenda. I'm getting new make. Yeah. I'm getting fresh, fresh off the stills, and that's okay for a non-age. I mean, that's 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 not a bad flavor. It's just a young flavor. Yeah. Well, they threw it in rum cast to, to kind of which mask makes, the well, of it. yeah, and which makes sense because rum is a young whiskey or young, yeah. young spirit, and it's extremely sweet. Yes. So I, I'm not surprised that it's that sweet on the palate. Um, they probably couldn't hold it in the rum for very long. Yeah, I don't see... You, not, rum's not something you're going to fully mature in, that's for sure. Well, and if it's a younger whiskey, it doesn't have a whole lot of developed flavors right. of its own. So it would easily yeah, be biscuit. overpowered by the rum if you left it in there for too long. And then you just end up with rum. So, are you get, in Scotland. so after a couple of sips, are you still getting rum in it? Mm -hmm. I, I still get those, those sugar and fruit notes on the nose and the palate. See, my, my sugar is just really starting to fall off into vanilla. Vanilla sugar, yeah, like vanilla sugar. Mm -hmm. See, that's what I'm. What I'm. I'm trying to. Th I'm trying to think of the breadth of whiskey, and this is. This is so much on that sweet, um, sugary, um, vanilla, candy side, and it doesn't. It doesn't bring in any maltiness or uh, peatedness or leather or any of those other flavors. It's just a very kind of very small window. I can see, but why, that's what um, they're going for. Correct. <laughs> yeah, that's correct. That's true. Uh, so I mean, I, okay, fair point. I need to respect that. <laughs> what are they targeting? Well, What's I mean, point? and also, I mean, Nicholas is right. That's why I can see why he likes it. This is perfect for cocktails, like putting it in something. Like that sweetness of it, like like a Coke or something would be great. Well, if you like I'll say that it, I think it's actually a pretty easy scotch to get into if you're a young liquor drinker, right? You're, you're, you're the young 20-something that's been in the bars couple years enough to say, man, I really like that Captain Morgan, right? And <laughs> so you, 10 years later, you're like, God, it's got so much sugar and I can't sleep, right? right? <laughs> but, so, because this, this reminds me of, of that, that sort of style of whiskey. It, it's definitely not reminiscent of scotch to me. Correct. It, I agree. it has a lot of, I, I was trying to encapsulate, I guess, the fact that there's a lot of flavors in rum that I really enjoy. Like, I like rum. Oh, yeah. Like, sure, good sure, aged sure. rum good. is yeah. wonderful stuff. And this has a lot of, you know, it starts out with banana and it gets some pineapple. Like, it's got all of those tropical fruits that I really, really enjoy um, trying in, in rums in this scotch. But it's not so cloyingly sweet or overpowering like a lot of the rums are. Because that's why I'll usually go for a scotch instead of a rum is like, I'm with you. Like it's a little too too much sweet, or just a little too cloying tonight. You know, I need something that's just a little drier, a little lighter, whatever. And so this lets me get to some of those rum flavors without actually drinking rum. Right. So I added some water to this, and the nose, I, in my opinion, is way better. I'm getting more apple, which I I, I think is a much better. It's it's less sickly. It's less, but I mean, it's got kind of some meaty apple in it, which is I think is much nicer on the nose. You I know, need with to a do that. Water. Because the nose is falling apart on it. Oh, and, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to go if you guys are... Like, I just put water Did you try water? water? Oh, oh, I need water already. Oh. <laughs> I'm way ahead. <laughs> He's ready to so, rock. So, okay, so $42? $42, 40 $42, 40% ABV. <clears throat> it's rum cast finish. So, statement. here's the deal. I think Mark said it best, honestly. This is, this is something that um, if you're getting into scotch but you like rum... This is a nice little blend between the two. I think it's more rum influenced than it is scotch influenced. I think that the balance is off for me personally. If I want rum, I want to get some rum. I don't. I mean, this is this isn't for me uh, personally. I want more scotch into this. I think 
if I had to compare it to something, I'll Balvenie 14 would be a good one, but that's obviously not exactly in the same category, um, but it's a better comparison. You get more scotch, get more things that what you're looking for in scotch with some mm -hmm. rum finishes to it. I feel like this is so heavy on the rum side, that's all I'm getting. I'm getting a little bit of scotch, but not much. It's, it's hard for me to fight it, and that's, it's overpowering. I think you also said it good too, I totally agree. I think it's a, it's a new, it's a newer uh, scotch, and they're trying to mask it by putting some rum in there to get some flavors. It's sweet. It's got a uh, obviously a, a rum taste to it with bananas and some coconut. Um, but I, I want some more wood. I want some more maltiness. I'm not getting any of that in the finish. So um, forty two dollars. So it's not a bad price. It really isn't. Um, and I, so I'm gonna like, give it up a little bit. For, I'm gonna go one five for the price and what it, for what it is. I would have gotten lower actually if it wasn't cheaper. Ooh, wow. I, I could do that. Go ahead. All right. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I wasn't sure what to expect <laughs> with this, uh, just because it is an NAS and you don't really know. I mean, some NASs you get and they hook them up with some old stock and they make it nice, and sometimes they give you a little more <laughs> newer scotch. <laughs> And I think that this one ended up as as some newer make scotch. You know, I mean, like three years in a day, and then they dumped it in some rum glass <laughs> and <laughs> roll it out. Man. It really good does, enough, Clark. <laughs> I, I I really actually do enjoy um, when you first get it into your mouth, the front palate, mid palate. It's actually really nice. It gets a lot of nice fruit notes, some stuff that you don't normally get because of the rum. Um, so, you know, you pineapples and bananas, papayas and stuff like that, that are unusual when you're drinking a scotch. Um, the finish had a little bit more of a new make character to it. Um, just young scotch and everything is just a little bit disjointed. You can tell that it was, you know, not aged for a, a long period of time. Um, but I think at the end of the day, it's 42 bucks. It's an easy drinker. I enjoy the flavors. The nose was nice. The palate was nice. I didn't have anything wrong with it. I'm going to give it a 2.5. I think it's it's a mm. easy drinker, but I will say if you don't like those rum flavors, this probably isn't going to be for you. I mean, you really Definitely do need not. to like the sweet and the fruit notes of rums to really appreciate this, I think. Okay. So a 2.5. Yep. All right. So I think this thing's just joining as I'll get out. Um, I honestly <laughs> think that they went too far to where it doesn't fall within the bounds of scotch to me in my mind, right? So when I just drink this, that's not what I'm thinking I'm drinking, when I, just but based on the taste. Um, the initial nose, the very first nose, was surprising. It was kind of like eye-opening, like, man, wow, what? I gotta be honest, man, it, it didn't last long. I, I honestly, without water, that nose changed on me two minutes afterwards, and then it was all kinds of disjoint. I was like, what the hell's going on in this glass? <laughs> um, I put water on it, and the nose came back again for a couple of seconds and then it got disjointed again and disappeared on me and the I'm not saying it's it's um, not good to drink I'm not saying it's like it's offensive by any way but it's not scotch to me it, honestly if I want scotch I, I'm not reaching for this and hey I get it you guys are trying to be experimental and go a little push the boundaries a little bit and use this rum cask finish and everything but you're still a scotch distillery. This, you're still trying to produce scotch, and I think you <laughs> went too far. But that's just me. Uh, I'm with you on a 1.5. Honestly, I think it would be great in a couple of mixed drinks. I sure think it would, would fit. Absolutely. Uh, it can bring some flavors into there. Uh, but on it. its own merit, Fair standing enough. by itself, I, I'm not reaching for this for a scotch. I, I, I just know that. <laughs> yeah, I agree. So it's funny. Um, of course, you can tell my face when I first tasted it. <laughs> what? <laughs> this isn't good. Um, very limited flavor profile. All the sweet. If they were going to do a uh, curving reserve, I wish they had gotten better rum. Um, because the rum, I think, was pretty... I'm, I'm totally speculating here. I think the rum was cheap. I don't think they used good quality rum barrels. But I, I may be completely wrong. Um, one thing I'll say. Um, this actually got better the more water I put on it. Because I think I diluted out the rum flavor. And, and you went back to so Glen... Were, more rum than head scotch? Well, <laughs> so you you go back to the um, Glenlivet Glen <laughs> new make and the Glenlivet base, which actually isn't bad. So so what they did with this bottle, I don't like. I don't like the way they did it. Um, Glenlivet isn't bad, but Glenlivet Caribbean Reserve, I would refuse it. I'm going to give it a one. Cause that's wow. It, it just, wow. 
world. It, I, I, just, if somebody offered it to me, I'd say, do you have some ice to put in it or you, something to dilute out the, the Caribbean? Do you have Coke? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I think it's great for a mixer, but I just uh, on its own standing us alone, it just doesn't you. give I me any scratch well, quality. I guess tune in on Thursday when I mix up cocktails. <laughs> yes, that sounds like Bingo. a great idea. All right, All right guys, so, we'll start it off. One wow. five two five one five one. 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 We'll figure I'm out the math. Not doing on that, that math. That's gonna be hard. Um, All right, guys, thanks for watching. <laughs> Appreciate you guys. We are live every Thursday night. Uh, check us out on uh, patreon.com and on Discord. We'll see you guys. Sometime. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.